Welcome back, Odoers. When it comes to email marketing, it's always best to establish a sense of trust with your audience. You don't want to bombard them with bland, boring messages that do nothing but clog up their inboxes. That's why it's important to be strategic with every email you send. However, even with the best intentions, there are times when recipients are ready to unsubscribe from a mailing list or even blacklist themselves from future communications entirely. It's never ideal, but hey, it happens. And you don't want to make it hard for the recipient to do because that doesn't reflect well on your company as a whole. So making the unsubscribing and blacklisting process easy for them is the best way to go. It helps your business appear more genuine and less spammy. Fortunately, Odoo is well aware of that fact and our email marketing application makes it super simple to manage all unsubscriptions and blacklists. And who knows, maybe if you allow them to leave on good terms, they may just resubscribe one day. Never know. So let's jump into our database to see how to handle just such thing with Odoo email marketing. Let's start off on our email marketing settings page. From here, we want to make sure that the blacklist option is enabled. That setting allows our recipients to blacklist themselves whenever they'd like. As you can see, we've already taken care of that, but if you haven't already, be sure to check that box and hit save before continuing. But with that setting locked and loaded, let's see what it's like to unsubscribe from one of our mailing lists. To do so, we'll jump over to our mailing list page and click on new to open a new email form. First, it should be noted that an unsubscribe link appears at the bottom of all mailing templates, except the start from scratch template. The start from scratch template is used. You have to manually add a specific unsubscribe link in the body of the email or use a block from the footer section of the building blocks, which includes an unsubscribe link. There's more information about that in our documentation on unsubscribing, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. For this video, let's click on a random template and see what that link looks like. How about we click on the welcome message template? Obviously, like any other template, this can be designed and customized in any other way we'd like. But today, we're solely focused on the unsubscribed link, which you can see is already present at the bottom of the template. Now, let's see what it looks like on the recipient's end. So let's hop over to another tab with one of these emails open in the recipient's inbox, scroll down, and click that unsubscribe link. This is what unsubscribing recipients see. At the top, it'll show the mailing subscriptions that the recipient belongs to, along with the one they just unsubscribed from. Below that, Odoo informs them that they've successfully been unsubscribed from the mailing list. They can choose one of the pre-configured opt-out reasons to let us know why they made this decision. I'll show you more about those in just a moment. These opt-out reasons are useful because we can use their selected reasons to learn how to avoid additional unsubscriptions from happening in the future. If they're over just everything and want to blacklist themselves, they could click the Exclude Me button to have their email address added to the blacklist, which prevents any further communications from reaching their inbox. You'll notice that once this is clicked, Odoo informs the recipient that their email will no longer receive any more mailings. But if they change their mind and think that might be too drastic, they can click the Come Back button. The blacklist is then lifted and their email addresses is resubscribed to the previously attached mailing list. However, for this video, let's click the exclude me again because I want to show you a couple more things in the database. So when we hop back into our database and go to configuration and select blacklisted email addresses, we'll find a list of people who've made a similar decision, including the email address we were just using. And if we click into that email address, You'll notice that we can unblacklist them with this button here. When we click this unblacklist button, we're presented with a quick pop-up window where we can enter a reason for why this new decision has been made. Like, let's say they changed their minds and then click confirm. And boom, this email address is archived from the blacklist page and they're ready to receive emails from us again. Also, remember those opt-out reasons I mentioned before? To create or modify any of those, you'd have to go to Configuration, then select Opt-out Reasons. Here, you can even change the order of how they appear on the mailing subscriptions page. To edit one, you'd simply click it and change it to whatever reason you'd like, or click New to create a new one. And let's create a new one, and the reason is Other Reason. And then we can also tick the checkbox to allow feedback, meaning they can select the opt-out reason and elaborate on why they're making their decision for even more in-depth analysis. And if we go back to the opt-out reasons page via the breadcrumbs, we'll find our new option at the bottom of the list. And like I mentioned, 
we can select the icon on the left and drag it anywhere on the list, like the very tippy top, for example. Perfect. And there you have it, Odoers. That's how you quickly and easily manage unsubscriptions and blacklisted emails with Odoo Email Marketing Your Application. See you next time, my party people.